Okay, Doc. So another question is, uh, afternoon, doctor. Uh, I am a new subscriber to your medical opinions provided on the Muscle Insider YouTube channel. I have found your experience and advice very helpful and educational, so thanks for your time with respect to that. You're welcome. It's really been my pleasure, as you know, the whole time. Uh, I'm 37 and suffered testicular cancer five years ago and have been in remission for 100% clean since. I had a stage one seminoma. Uh, I am 6'2 and 220 pounds. I am a very experienced lifter, but have found I do not have the same sexual desire and stamina compared to before having my right testicle removed for precaution. I took one small dose of chemo just to ensure all cancer cells were killed off. I seem to have some of the symptoms you have mentioned about low T. I'm just concerned about how you would or could affect my health and how that, I'm sorry, would or could affect my health and one good testicle if I were to start TRT. I've been taking the supplement called Alpha Gym to assist in some estrogen regulation. Would like your feedback on that product if you are familiar with its ingredients and the efficacy of them. Thanks again. Your insight would be beneficial, Larry. Uh, first of all, with regard to testicular cancer, yeah, right about age 32 to 34, I believe, is when most guys, if you're going to get it, are going to get tes testicular cancer. This is normal. Uh, doesn't make it great. I'm just, you know, great. So it's normal. Whoa, big deal. I didn't mean it that way. But, you know, th this all falls into, uh, you know, typical in terms of what we see in medicine. A seminoma, again, typical. The, the bottom line is there is no uh, issue that I found with uh, using uh, testosterone once you no longer have cancer. As a matter of fact, there are some urologists. Uh, I, well, I don't want to name names, but there's some good uh, doctors, uh, one of which I'm thinking of out of uh, Washington, Washington D.C., that if you are found to have prostate cancer, for example, uh, will tell you don't go off testosterone if you're on it because we're going to remove the, 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 the prostate and the cancer. The last thing I need you doing is dropping 20 pounds because you're going to start worrying no matter what. You're not going to eat right before surgery. So stay on the testosterone. We'll, we'll, we'll get it. And, you know, uh, so, so you have different points of view on this. As far as testicular cancer goes, uh, five years with no other signs or symptoms of cancer, um, I would always check with your oncologist first, not just out of deference, but because there may be some new information. But in my experience, yes, you can go on TRT if you're a candidate. And if you're missing a testicle, more than likely the you're other has not made up for it. You know, yeah. your adrenals can make up for some also, as you know. But uh, the first thing I would do is get labs to see, okay, where are you? Um, if, if, if it, and it sounds like, uh, you know, you're having some symptoms uh, with the decreased libido and, and energy, stamina, he calls it. Uh, so, and, and by the way, the, the chemo, um, as much as sometimes it can be necessary, and, and less and less so, we hope, with targeted immunotherapy, which is, is already being used in Europe and now in the United States. Um, but, you know, the, the, the chemo is going to kill some other cells, too. It's not right. necessarily, it's one of those where we talk about, hey, you, you kill the cancer cells faster than you kill your cells, and so... You know, that's the way we win the battle. But you, you sounds like you use a small dose. I don't want to get off on that too much. But uh, definitely could look into using some some uh, TRT. And uh, the issue, it sounds like, uh, or what I would bring up, even if it, it wasn't what he was concerned with, is uh, in this case, you're not so worried, I don't think, about cosmetics. Although it, you might want the one testicle to remain as big as it can, you know, a normal size. Uh, but fertility. You know, at 37, if you still want to have father children, mm -hmm. if, uh, and normally they would have talked you into banking some sperm before you went through any surgery to remove the testicle, and especially before you went through chemo. Uh, but if that's not the case, then we want to preserve the function of that right testicle. So if you're going to go on um, uh, testosterone replacement therapy, bank some sperm if you haven't already, uh, punctuate that with some HCG mm -hmm. yeah. so that you keep those lytic cells functioning as best you can so that you can father some children down the line. Um, those, those would be the, you know, the most important things. Uh, as far as Alpha Gym, I, I don't want to comment. I didn't look it up. I don't want to look it up because, first of all, I don't want to get any hot water with a particular brand or anything like that uh, with what well, this would be considered slander. I mean, I'm entitled to my opinion, right? But 
in my opinion, all of those products that are out on the market that I have seen, whether it be, you know, those that contain chrysin or derivatives of soy, you know, genistine, diazidin, they don't do the job like an aromatase inhibitor or even a, a, a receptor blocker like tamoxifen. It's really night and day. Diazidin, genistine, things like that, they have one five hundredth the efficacy of estrogen, and yet they fit into the same receptor. So, yeah, you're... You're, you're, you're blocking the efficacy of your own estrogen by those, getting those products in your system and sometimes they get there first. But you know that's down here yeah. compared to doing it the right way, which is probably almost always uh, uh, cheaper as well as being more efficacious. So right. I would skip the, you know, the stuff that they're selling at whatever store they're selling at, I won't name names again. <laughs> um, but... Uh, you know, I would look into it. I would get, I would get some labs, and I would get the the opinion of a professional. But definitely look into it. In my experience, you're not going to kick in some new cancer. I guess is maybe one of the things that's I'm implied sure that in that was question. Part, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Thanks, Doc.